Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're just going to be applying makeup. I think I'm gonna, I'm getting ready for another video basically, which to be honest, I don't even know will go up in the end. I don't know. I'm gonna first start off with these eye masks. These are by Wonder Beauty. These are bag baggage clean gold eye masks. They're really, really nice. Ooh, they're really nice and cold. That feels so good. It's early in the morning right now. So this is so nice. Oh, and they just stick so well as well. I just realised my mirror is all the way over there. No, no. No. No, no. Go on, lay down. Go on, lay down. Oh. Excuse me. No. Yeah, you're just going to see a little snout pop out every now and then. Right, I'm going to be using this brow styler. I think it's in the shade 5. Just going to fill these eyebrows in. Oh, do you know what? It's so weird because it's really hard. I'm, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been having this allergic reaction to something. But like my whole body is like so itchy. And I know it's not Luna or the animals because I've always had them, you know. Or unless I've developed an allergy which will... That's just not okay, but anyways. Yeah, some days it's so hard to stay motivated to film because like, I don't, like there's so many makeup tutorials online, like I don't wanna just stick to, to that. Like, I don't know, like I wanna have a positive impact on people. Yes, I do these videos to help um, people across the world feel and look better you know just feel better from within whether that's putting makeup on or being a bit more confident or just accepting the way you are I don't know I just want to do more I don't want to stick to tutorials and I feel like I don't like the feeling of being stuck and I feel like when you do something especially online. I actually, um, I started reading this book and I'm just a few pages in and it's just freaking good. It's called Girls Stop Apologizing. I haven't finished it yet and I haven't read a book since I was like a toddler, I don't even know. And I wanna make a change to like, just get general knowledge and read and broaden my, cause sometimes I feel like I'm stupid. Like I don't know much, like general knowledge. Does anyone else feel like that? Be a bit more well-spoken. So yeah, I grabbed a book and this was, a. I, I was like, I searched up best-selling books of this year and it's by Rachel Hollis, I think. I'll leave a link in the info box. But anyway, she, she there's a bit in the book where she says, she's a, she's a blogger and a mother. And there's a bit in the book where she says, when you go online and you do something, people, their first impression of you, from their first impression of you, they kind of put you in this box of, so for me, in my case, it's makeup tutorials, Anushka, both in a box. As soon as I kind of step out of that box and do something else, which is a bit different, some people, not all, will react negatively, I feel like, because they've already perceived me and linked me to just makeup. When I do something different, it's not taken in a positive way. So in her case, it was more like being a mother and then when she announced she had a business and in the background, like people took that in a negative way. Looked at it in a negative way because as a mother, how can you be working? How can you put your business first? Like when I totally don't see it like that, but it's like when people put, see, when people make an impression of you, they link you to what they, they see you most you first do what you mostly post about on your page so yeah when you do something different it's not taken positively sometimes and I really feel that you know like um, when I started doing skip videos they would they did really good and a lot of people loved them but I also did get a lot of mean comments saying like what the hell is you doing um, and I'm not like an actor or anything but people forget and do you know what People forget that you don't need to be 100% good at something to do something. Like, if you want to do it, do it, okay? Like, I don't put makeup on, like, freaking makeup by Mario, but does that stop me from doing makeup videos? No. 
And also, if you truly love something, you do, just do it. You don't need to explain why you're doing it and why you like it to other people. Like, just do it for you. And I'm really going by that. This book has just been so good. And I'm only like a quarter of the book in. And it's just like, it's such a good self-help Christian book. It talks about God as well. I don't know, I've loved it. And it's really like changed my mindset and made me feel a bit more motivated and want to like step out my comfort zone. I really love it. So yeah, and now I'm just, I'm trying to like go about my way and not care about what anyone else thinks. And I have, I'm so lucky to have amazing supporters online. Um, but it's really hard when you get that one or two main comments, especially on something that you really love doing. So in my case, it, some, it was the skits before, but I, I don't think you guys understand how much I love singing. Like, I don't think anyone gets that I love singing since a very young age, but I know that I'm not like perfect at it. At some point in time, I'll probably get a singing teacher but like why, there's so many times I've posted singing videos, I'm being proper real with you guys, I've posted so many um, singing videos and just taken them down because people will be like just stick to makeup, like why? And I know like it's like the worst thing ever to put an embarrassing singing video online because it just follows you till the end of time, <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> and when I look back at them I'm like oh my god I'm so off tune, I'm so off key and like I need improvement but and then I just feel like, oh, this I, I'm just not made for this. I should just freaking give up. But why? Why should I give up? Like, if you really put work into it and really practice, you can be good at whatever you want to be good at, okay? There's some just motivating words for you all. I feel like I needed it for myself as well. <laughs> I just want to be real with you guys. Like, this is how I've been feeling. And um, I feel like this year has flown so fast and... I want to learn so much and do like so much and I'm not doing it so I want to start doing it. I'm going to take some of this Revolution Ultimate Coverage Waterproof Concealer. This is in the shade C11.2 and I'm going to carve my eyebrows with this. But yeah, what are your thoughts on it? Like, do you think someone should stop doing something because they're not like Beyonce or like Bob Ross or... I don't know, James Charles, should they stop YouTubing because they're not like James Charles? What are your thoughts on that? Let me know in the comments below. Those are my brows done. I'm now going to grab some of my Colourpop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Dark 32. I'm going to put that all over my lid. For eyeshadow today, I'm actually going to use the Retrograde, Mercury Retrograde palette by Huda Beauty. I just want to try like more the more natural wearable shades because there are weird colours in it. But I feel like you can do a more natural look with this palette. I've just taken the shade Karma and buffed that out on the outer corner of my eye. I'm now taking Utopia and really buffing that on the outer corner just to like diffuse it. I'm just taking some NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And I'm going to take the shade Galaxy. It's actually such a pretty shade, super metallic, and this is so natural, like, for every day. Just to add a little bit of depth, um, depth? Just to <laughs> add a little bit of depth, I'm going to take the shade Hot Mess, and I'm just going to, like, put this on the outer corner. I feel like if you do want to go deeper with this palette, it will definitely go more to like a plummy shade rather than like a brown or anything like that. 
Then I'm going to take some of this NYX Midnight Chaos Liquid Eyeliner. I actually use just the black side. I'm not sure if they sell this anymore, but I'll link it if they do still. I'm just going to do... Classic Wing. I really like this eyeliner because the, br the brush is so like precise. I'm going to use some of the Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced and I'm going to put a bunch of this on. To be honest, I bought this sample of the mascara. I'm not a big fan of it to be honest, but I do prefer the um, Better Than Sex Mascara. But I don't mind applying this when I know I'm going to put lashes on. I'm so, so obsessed with these lashes. These are the Huda Beauty Lottie lashes. They just go so well with my eyes. Whilst I'm waiting for my other lash to dry, I'm going to be trying some of this Dr. Lip lip balm. I've tried the nipple cream, but it's a really, it's like really thick. So I'm wondering if this will be the same. So we're going to try it today. I actually received the Good Housekeeping Time Showcase Beauty box. I think it's like a subscription box where you can discover new products. But there's actually really cool products. This Evolve Organic Beauty Satin Body Gloss smells amazing. And it just leaves the nicest glow. It makes your skin feel so soft. So I don't know. I might actually sign up to this box because it's got like nice skincare bits. I need to look... I need to look more into it. Um, and they just say that the beauty world can be crowded and this box will just help you um, like find, you know, products you wouldn't necessarily go for. I'm not sure how much a box is. I'll write in the info box if you guys are interested because I do really like the stuff that were in there. And you get £10 off your next shop. So I'll put the code in the info box. But they have some cool stuff in here. They have Dr. Lip. Studio 10, Memi Lash to Lash Mascara, Vita Liberata Beauty Blur Skin Toning Optimizer. They put a moisturizer in here called the Grown Alchemist. It's a hydro repair day cream, which I'm gonna be using today. Smells amazing. This has red radish pigment in there. What on earth? Ooh. Do you know what? Do you know what, guys? I bought so many, so many uh, lip balms. I've tried the Lano lips, which is okay, but it's not my favorite. It feels waxy. I bought the tinted one. I didn't really like it much with the SPF. And then I've tried the EOS Vanilla Beauty Balm, which broke, and it's actually awful. It disappears in, like, two minutes. I've tried so many Nivea ones, but they just don't, like... Vaseline is a big no-no. So my favourite, favourite, favourite lip balm is one that I can only find in France, which is called La Bello. Let me know in the comments if you know what La Bello is. It's like standard in France. It's like the best lip balm. But this almost feels like him. This is definitely going in my bag. It doesn't have a smell. And usually I always go for lip balms that have a smell, a scent. <laughs> but this... I don't know, it doesn't, but it feels really nice on lips and it's super hygiene and it's got a little bit of a tint. Yes, I'm really happy about that. Okay, let me put my lash on before the glue dries. Yes, look at that beauty. I love it. Lashes just changed the whole thing. Okay, let me take these off now. Right now I'm using the alchemist moisturizer it smells really rosy but it's so hydrating now i'm going to take this nars illuminator this is in the shade orgasm when i use illuminators i really avoid the mouth area because it just highlights my pigmentation and moustache like we don't need that okay so now i'm going to use my estee lauder double wear foundation in toasty toffee this foundation is just so bomb like it's so good i do need like a better shade for me but the shade works mostly I 
I'm just taking my ColourPop concealer again. I'm just going to blend that. Now this concealer is definitely more on the drier side but it's got good coverage. The doe foot applicator is so nice. Now to set that in place I'm going to use the Ready Set Smooth um, Oils Absorbing Loose Setting Banana Powder by Barry M. That was really long. I'm just going to put a little bit of powder there. Next I'm using my Physician Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronzer. This smells so nice as well. It doesn't leave any patches, it's really like effortless. You can't go wrong with this bronzer. Now I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I haven't used this in ages, but I'm gonna grab the shade Bora Bora. This is in the Bronze Sands edition. It's the darkest one, I think. Oh, maybe it's a darker one. But I'm gonna use the blush. Then finally I'm going to use this rose water setting spray. For lip liner I'm going to use the Lottie London Slay All Day Longwear Lip Liner Pencil in the shade. On my side, TBT. And then for the centre of my lip, I'm going to use the Lipstick Queen Lip Dulgence Lip Mousse in the shade Buttercream Dream. And it's like the perfect nudie shade. There's definitely colour missing from my under eyes. I don't feel like it suits me when I have nothing on my under eyes. It's so weird. But I'm going to use some of the shade Hot Mess from the palette. makes all the difference I'm gonna take some of supernova just put that on the outer corner inner corner actually right there next finally I'm gonna take some of super moon and put that on my inner corner I'm actually so stupid because I left my, I, I curled my hair um, the other day and I left it on for one full day. Like I'm so stupid. So because I've dyed it, I'm trying to put less heat as possible. So I went a whole week without putting any heat on it whatsoever. So I'm gonna try and do that every now and then. Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little makeup video. It's a bit more on the natural side, but I love the shimmers in this palette. And I know a lot of people weren't too fond of it, because it has all those weird colours in it, but you can definitely create such a pretty look with it. I don't know, if you've got all the other palettes, maybe pff, it's a bit much, but if you're a makeup artist and you like to play with colour, this is a really nice palette. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.